The FAA is getting a $12.5 billion boost that will go towards modernizing its aging air traffic control system. It is all part of President Trump's big, beautiful bill, which he signed last week. And while there is a lot of focus on the control towers, most U.S. airports don't actually have them. So this is where a local team pilot steps in. He has come up with a new AI tool to try to prevent dangerous situations for pilots who aren't getting a lot of help on the ground. Our Max Darrow introduces us to this 18-year-old innovator. There is a lot that fuels humans' fascination with flight. And for 18-year-old Maison Rupan Tompkins, that fascination stems from a feeling. Just the feeling, I'm just like almost being on top of the world. And from science. And how planes just take off and the, uh, all the principles on just aerodynamic. Maison is a young pilot with a background in computer science and AI. And he says he's developed an AI tool called Stratus that will make aviation safer. The idea stemmed from his own in-flight experiences. I personally came across multiple near mid-air collisions, so that was one of the main inspirations where I do not want any other pilot to experience something I felt. Currently with airports, there's, ba there's barely any AI integration, so I feel like just making a small step and improving safety and safety nets can help a lot. Stratus is a real-time autonomous co-pilot system that uses AI to listen to and understand pilot comms and flag abnormalities before they become dangerous dangerous in situations where there is no air traffic controller. Maison says while major airports have dedicated air traffic control, 85% of airports throughout the country are either low resourced or totally untowered. But uncontrolled means there's actually no one that has jurisdiction over your communications. It's kind of free form. So you speak over, it's called a CTAF, a common traffic advisory frequency, and you announce your, let's say your decisions to everyone on this frequency. Most of the regional airports in the Bay Area are towered. But yeah, that right there, that's the San Carlos Airport Tower. However, there are airports such as Half Moon Bay or Byron, which are in the Bay Area, which are non-towered airports. But airports such as Hayward or Reed Hillview, at, after hours, they do become untowered. I think there's a huge use for that. I think he's really onto something with this. Scott Miller is a commercial airline pilot, aviation lecturer at San Jose State University, and flight instructor. He says there already is a very high level of safety in aviation, but upon first look, he's really enthusiastic about Maison's idea. Never contemplated. Uh, Having AI monitor uncontrolled fields and be able to actually activate a response, beautiful. Maison says his AI tool will not replace controllers, but rather aid them and support pilots in places they don't exist. This is not powered by, let's say, this large language models, but rather statistical machine learning models that are based on historic flight training data. Even if it's like 1% or 2% increase in safety can help out and go a long ways. A young innovator, hopeful his technology takes off making the skies safer, one flight at a time. Maison says he's in talks with numerous airports throughout the region and has a goal of deploying it at 10 locations this summer.